The first hot cut in nuclear technology, a world premiere. Kao, the experimental nuclear plant, a monument in the history of German nuclear energy, is being shut down. In 2004, it will look like this. As in accordance with regulations, shut down nuclear plants mustn't remain as eyesores in the local landscape. Disassembly work is well advanced. The dismantling of the reactor pressure vessel you see here with its internals has been going on since 1995. Because the former reactor is highly radioactive, we use the term hot dismantling phase. Various dismantling techniques were tried out at the beginning. Sawing and cutting, grinding methods were also applied. But now we believe we've found the ideal solution. Water as a dismantling tool, a spectacular method. Hydrojet cutting six meters underwater. The five to 13 centimeter thick steel of a ring-shaped component is being cut through like butter. The work is carried out underwater with remote control equipment for safety reasons. The water protects the personnel against radioactivity. Our cameras ensure that all working steps are monitored and that the hydrojet is positioned with millimeter precision. Meanwhile, experts from all over the world come knocking at the door. Then a writer, technical director, patiently provides the media with relevant information. I'm convinced that this cutting method has three distinct advantages. Firstly, if not completely universal, the method is eminently usable in terms of versatility. Secondly, the equipment we need to apply the technique is very cheap in comparison to other methods, as for example the earlier cutting techniques. And thirdly, the personnel working here are much less exposed to radiation. Here's a simple example. If we cut this part here, which weighs three tons in the pressure vessel, we can do it in half the time it would usually take otherwise. We've been doing trials with this method in our test basin since 1997. We not only had to discover whether the hydrojet would actually cut through the steel, but also whether we'd be able to position the manipulator with millimeter precision. Then how to hold the cut pieces firmly until they could be transferred into transport containers. Dr. Norbert Eitelpasch, VAK Managing Director, you see him here on the right, with his 30 years of experience in the radiation protection sector, is recognized as one of the leading dismantling experts in Europe. A considerable plus to the project, as the task of disassembling the reactor pressure vessel particularly requires a special combination of creative thinking and knowing what is feasible. Under extreme pressure, the water is forced through a tiny jet made of hard metal, here in the front, or in precise terms, the high pressure pump operates at 1,400 bar. The diameter of the jet is only 0.4 millimeters. This grinding material, consisting of fine, sharp-edged sand, is added to the water jet. The dosage is measured precisely in accordance with the thickness of the material to be cut. The hydrojet develops the aggression it needs with the aid of this abrasive agent. At first, the cloudy water caused by the abrasive agent disrupted the work. But this problem has also been solved. We developed a special water cleaning device, now registered with a patent. The dirty water is not only cleaned of suspended matter, but the radioactive contents are extracted simultaneously, then packed on the spot for final waste disposal in these yellow drums. Another remarkable advantage was being able to operate the device away from the cutting site or the control area, thus ruling out any risk of contamination. In VAR car, the high-pressure aggregate could be placed in the former machinery hall. 
and the cutting media, that is, the water jet, including the abrasive, transferred approximately 100 meters via this inconspicuous looking blue hose, here to the right, down into the reactor pressure vessel. The cutting method, where no process heat is generated at all, has been successfully applied for several years in working areas with high risk of explosion, for example, scrapping solid fuel rockets and the underwater dismantling of obsolete oil platforms. In the nuclear energy sector, however, Karl was the very first user. Believe it or not, these 20 centimeter thick steel plates can also be cut with the aid of the hydrojet. Experience has shown that there's always a difference between only testing dismantling techniques under ideal testing conditions or then trying them out in the deep end, so to speak. Meanwhile, in Fa'aka, we're absolutely convinced that hydrojet cutting, as an uncomplicated and highly efficient performer, has complemented the operating range of available nuclear plant dismantling technology with distinction.